If we wanted to transport a lot of people to a planet, do you think we would try to bring everyone at once or make like make a big spaceship or would we make a smaller one to, to, to take our time and transport a few people at a time? I'm going to turn this around to you. What's the toughest part of that journey? Is it the trip to the planet or is it the trip from the surface of the Earth to space? The surface of the Earth to space. Exactly. Because you're having to escape the Earth's gravity. So you never try to launch lots of people from the surface to space. But once you get them in space, to some extent, it's since there's no friction in a vacuum, you just need an initial pulse or push. It's pretty easy to transport lots of people at the same time. Got it. The rocket has to be very powerful in order to lift all the weight out of Earth's gravitational pull. So that's the kind of thing we wrestle with at NASA every day. You know, what's the trade between cost, between efficiency, between how fast you can do something, between how capable it is. And you just have to kind of weigh those against each other and make a decision. In terms of how many people we can launch or land on Mars at a time when we get there in 2030. If you launch only one or two people, you can make the craft a lot smaller. And then you also don't risk everybody at the same time. But the more you build, the more they cost versus building one bigger one and say take four astronauts in. So we're looking at that, making those trades. It's fun.